What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the last week in the scale world of RC. If you like the Scale News Update, make sure to hit the like button and let's get into this week's topics. First topic for this week is a new product from Carry All RC. Carry All RC previously released a backpack that was made to carry an extra rig or your rig on your back and it included a bunch of options as well. But now they have the Carry A Little RC, which I joked about when they initially released this one, and this is a waist pack, fanny pack, whatever you wanna call it, whatever it is, I'm a fan. This thing comes with a very small LiPo bag, one smaller than I've normally seen, but I run pretty small batteries in a lot of my rigs, so I think it'd be a perfect fit. And it also has some options with a little tool set, and I think another little container that I'm not sure what it's filled with, but it says details on this are coming soon. You can find it on their Facebook page, which I'll link to in the description below, along with the rest of the stories from this week's news. Next, we've got a new release from Vanquish, and these are a set of rebuildable and machined rod ends. Now, these are a rod end that replaces the typical rod end, like is used from the Vanquish or Incision rod ends, or also the very popular Revo rod end from Traxxas. These are machined to the same length overall. So you can install these on a typical M4 thread that you may find on machined links like the Incision links. And why these are different than previous machined links that you may have seen is that the rebuildable part of this. You put the pivot ball into the rod end like a normal rod end would, and then it's got a brass tension piece that has an adjustable tension screw on the top or bottom, depending on how you install it. But this allows you to retain the pivot ball in there, adjust the amount of tension that's on there, and then if it wears in slightly, you can add a little bit more tension. And in the long run, if you ran out of tension adjustment as the brass maybe wore down or something like that, you could could replace it and have basically a replaced rod end set. These are sold in a pack of four. They're not gonna be for everybody or every rod end on your rig, but if you've got a high stress area where you'd like to put a rod end to hold up to more abuse, then here's an option for you. Currently, these are being offered in both clear anodized and black anodized options. So you can either make it blend in with the rest of your rod ends or make it stand out and you can see that it's not just another plastic rod end. But like the rest of the stories, linked in the description below where you can buy them. New from Tekken Racing this week is some new five slot brushed motors. Now, five slot brush motors have been popular for a little while now, and they're kind of beginning to pick up even more popularity in the market of people running brushed motors. Personally, if I'm running a brush motor, it's most likely going to be a five slot. They're just a much smoother motor overall and something that I've really enjoyed running for a lot of years. It looks like currently Tekken is going to offer a 12 turn, a 16 turn, and a 20 turn. The problem is, is that most of the time people don't know the correlation between what's listed on a five slot for turn count versus what they're used to comparing that to. For example, a 16 turn five slot is much closer to a 35 turn three slot or a standard motor that you'd be used to. So, so that 12 turn five slot is going to be closer to like a 24 turn motor and the 20 turn motor that they have in five slots probably going to be closer to like a 55 turn. But if you're looking for another brushed motor option, now Tekken looks like they're going to have one to offer. So far, I've only been able to find these on the Tekken store, not on the actual Tekken website. But I'm sure as that progresses, that will change and everything will get updated. So if you don't see them initially, that's why. Once again, Proline's been busy and this week they're teasing a new comp crawling tire. This looks to be a 2.2 pin style tire, which has been very popular in comp crawling, but this one is going to be called the Ibex, which is a type of goat, which is, you know, very similar to like the Axial Capra, which is also a type of goat. You can see where they're going with that. But another pin tire option, and I think maybe possibly a slight resurgence in the, you know, the direction of people really wanting to build high performance rock crawlers. And the capper I think is a big spurring point to that. It's something that you can buy out of the box and is pretty capable overall, but still a little bit scratches that scale itch. So I'm sure we're gonna see more on this from Proline before too long. At this point, we've only seen from them some very close up pictures of it. They've also given it to a few people to test and I've seen some photos of them mounted up on their rigs. So it doesn't look like they're trying to hide them too much, but full release information hasn't been put out yet. So I'm sure we'll have to wait before we see the final size information and everything on these tires. Now, this story from Traxxas is not specifically scale related, but 
kind of still interesting. This is that Traxxas released an unassembled version of the two-wheel drive slash. The first unassembled kit that Traxxas released was the TRX4 unassembled chassis kit with, you know, had all the electronics but no body basically. This now the very popular slash two-wheel drive and it's just super interesting to see Traxxas releasing yet another unassembled kit version. The slash has been obviously a popular truck for, you know, 10 years or more now and Finally, they're releasing something, you know, or releasing a, a kit version of it. I believe that I remember seeing a Rustler or a Stampede unassembled kit released a, a number of months back, but now just another one's being rolled out from them. It's always interesting to see Traxxas buck a trend that they've really, you know, had pretty set for quite a while. I didn't see anything special or more exciting about the kit other than the fact that it's just not put together for you. I'm sure that these will be available very soon as Traxxas doesn't let much information out before they're basically ready to go. Another new item from J Concepts this week is their new 1.9 Colt beadlocks. This is a multi-piece beadlock style wheel with a very familiar stamped wheel style look to it. I don't believe that there is any metal to this wheel. I believe it's an all plastic beadlock, but it's got that, that stamped steel wagon wheel look to it. This goes right along with their tire options like the landmines and the Scorpios that ha they have. And now finally we have a wheel that bolts onto them. This one has a molded in hex in the back side of the wheel. And it looks a little thin around those walls. This is something that we've seen in the past when Axial very first released their first molded beadlock wheels. It had this situation with a pretty thin wall around the hex and we ended up when you put power to them, you end up spinning the hex inside the wheel. Later they went in and beefed up around it, adding more plastic. We'll see if that's the case with this wheel as well. Maybe, maybe not, maybe it's enough to hold it. Time will tell. Next, we have a release that is not new at all. This is actually a pretty old product from Montech and this was their rock crawler body. I think it was pretty simply named rock crawler body. They didn't get real inventive with that. But I haven't seen these available for a long time and it looks like they were just brought either back into production or just brought back into the US through aiming. I saw them listed on there today and now you can pick this thing up. It's got an old school Jeep style, one that's not easy to find in many other bodies, especially Lexan bodies. So if you're looking for a, you know, it's a pretty aggressive body overall. It's not a super scale body, but maybe that's the route you're looking to go. But either way, it's an interesting body that I just haven't seen pop up in a really long time. It was kind of cool to see it come back. And then we've got a new release from Bauhaus RC, and this is their low center of gravity battery tray for the Element Enduro platform. This takes and just moves the battery a little bit lower and a little bit more forward to give you better weight bias and better center of gravity overall. It's not a big adjustment. It looks like it's only around five millimeters, they said, but just a little bit when you're pushing performance as far as you can, trying to get the battery as low as possible, always a good move. This is a simple 3D printed part, but I'm sure one that's going to be effective. I believe that this will work with any of the Element Enduros, even the new Trail Walker with that front IFS kit, but I could be wrong on the IFS. That may be something you need to take a look at. But that's gonna do it for the actual news topics for this week, but I do have a question for this week as well, and this was spurred on by the Traxxas release, and that is, what vehicles that are currently out there in RTR form would you like to see released as a kit form and vice versa. Is there any kits that you would like to see released as an RTR? I'm not hundred percent sure why, but I feel like the Arma infraction would be a fun kit to build. I bought one of the RTR versions, but just that big on-road car, I feel like it would be a fun kit, but you'll have to drop what your ideas are in the comments below. I read all of the comments and there's always some pretty good ones in there. So thanks as always for you guys who participate in that. It is appreciated as always. But that's gonna do it for this week's news. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.